Howdy fellas, Frankie Day, back again YouTube. Day on builds of the past. I have another collection, this is a 148 scale Lockheed Hudson bomber. Named by the manufacturer who made this model was by Air Classic Airframes, the 148. Uh, this is a, a multimedia kit. It's only limited, they only make too many of these. They only made so many of them on the, on the first production run of it. And they call it quits and they have been available since. I built this airplane 15 years ago. It just came out of the boxes now, fellas. This is the uh, the large scale of the Lockheed Hudson. Uh, it makes a good makes a good companion to the old uh, legendary 172nd scale Lockheed Hudson by Airfix 72. And uh, they got uh, Altal RAs made one also uh, and 148 scale. I'm thinking about seriously about buying one of them one of these days real soon. <coughs> this kit was actually was not designed for the novice and hard to build. Cause you go dealing with resins and photo wedge parts, and the nature of the, of the fit of parts and everything else is it's hair pulling. There was a lot of fit issues with this kit, fellas. It was like that of the Globemaster. Henceforth, with the construction of this kit, there was no alignment pins at all, but a few saws has wing stabilizers and elevators. There were no alignment pins at all. Everything had to be made flush. It was all bare. So you got to make sure when you're uh, gluing these part pieces together, it's always good to dry fit them before you uh, initially cement the assembly together. In other words, you're running into trouble. Uh, it took about a month for me to build this kit. It's uh, it's not as detailed as much as I, I, I want it to be, though, but... Coming from the box, you know, when it was made, it is what it is. It's a lot can be done with this model. I just made a factory fresh Lockheed Hudson out of it. This Hudson does not. Uh, this model, uh, the pay schedule is uh, is the early uh, lend lease program they had. The Hudson bomber, along with the A26, which is dubbed by the English as the Boston bomber, and the and the Martin Baltimore Maryland uh, bomber. Uh, were the first lend lease aircraft given to the English to help them with the uh, with the war effort because uh, they were having problems with uh, Adolf Hitler. He had a serious weed up his rear end, so he was starting trouble with Poland and uh, Warsaw, and he tried to he tried to the bomb the, the, the English out and everything, and uh, and we weren't we were neutral at the time, so. Franklin Delano Roosevelt made quite certain that these aircraft that we didn't want, we just gave them to the English to use, and they, and they made very great use out of it. The Hudson Bomber and the, uh, and the European Theater, as the, as the English use them, they're more or less uh, used as leaflet bombers, co mostly coastal command duties uh, for U boat, because a threat of U boat threats, they use them as U boat bombers. They can carry a bomb load of uh, 10,000 pounds, no more than that. Uh, this Hudson bomber right here is belongs to the Coastal uh, Command Service. Uh, what parts of England, I don't know. Uh, but, like I said, this is one of the first uh, lend lease aircraft ever uh, was ever given to England during the uh, beginning of the Second World War. And so the English made great use out of them. They used them throughout the war. Uh, they were used as, sometimes they used them as bombers, and uh, mostly they, they were limited to, uh, to um, duties because of the rarity of, of, of being a lend lease. They weren't produced that much of the, of, the, of the real machine, so evidently what they used them, these things for is more or less is for coastal command operations only. <coughs> as a multimedia kit. You look at the nose area on this on this model here. If I quit twirling this thing around, it comes with several. Um, it comes with several versions of the Lockheed Hudson. It can also be made into a PBO too, and uh, on the United States Navy side. But more or less, this thing uh, tends to have a. Uh, it's more or less to, to the lock to the English of the Lockheed Hudson than the uh, United States Navy PBO patrol bombers. Um, as I said before, on the middle section right there is the clear place. It's all clear. So you had to mask off all those windows. You had to mask off the bomb neighbor's window in front of the nose. 
and you had the uh, what was really good about the clear transparency, the transparency that fit in front of the uh, the cockpit. It can be filled with uh, your your fellow choice, while disturbing the mast windows and the bottom's windows. So, give you a, they give you a lot of choices on the kit. It's a very expensive kit. I think I paid sixty dollars for it back then. If they ever produce this kit again, they probably they probably put a lot more into it. Well, I got it out of this one, and of course the prices go up as well. Uh, it's a chunky model. It's a fairly good sized model. It's about the size of that, almost out of the B-25 Mitchell by Monogram Uh The Hudson Bomber was a very good bomber for its time. Its uh, civilian cousin, as I showed you on the paper model that I built, was the Lockheed Electra L-14. And the only difference between the L-14 model and the uh, Lockheed Hudson, it was fitted with a bolt and pole uh, turret, which fits pretty much all the way after the fuselage. He had the bomb neighbor's windows, also the uh, the view windows uh, with the observation windows on the sides. <coughs> the cockpit's pretty well detailed. It comes with resin seats. The control uh, the cockpit floor is all resin. The control yoke and dial console are all the uh, uh, styrene plastic. No figures come with the kit at all. That portion right there, guys, with the stick I was showing you, they were on to the tip right there. Is all clear plastic, so I had them. I had them as was on submission windows, and also I had the master bombers window. Chivo, uh, entire finish as an entirety to the kit itself, and uh, well, there he is again. Yours truly. Make certain I get on the uh, limelight of the uh, camera. Okay. Uh, Frank, if we move your head, maybe they can be able to see that model. There you go. Anyway, guys, that's that with the Lockheed Hudson bomber. Uh, I got more builds coming up, guys. I got more builds in the past I'll be posting daily. Keep you guys interested. I just had a very interesting commentator on the uh, on the Battle of Britain group number two on my Spitfire. Had the smart guy on there. So old uh, old Frank uh, trashed the back. I give him my 16-inch turrets, guys. They come with me with 5-inch 38s. I come back with them with 16 inches. So you read the commentator on Battle of Britain uh, Part Two. You see what I said. Anyway, guys, enough of that. Right now it's time to close this video, and I'm not gonna thank everybody for tuning in. I have a bolo update this, this evening right here. I'm, I'm applying the silver finish on it right now, and uh, y'all take care.